Hi and welcome to an advanced demonstration of some of the um, custom map options that you can do with the Sybase range of ECUs. Now I'm actually connected, um, well I actually got a calibration open here of a S7 um, ECU which is running the 1.699 firmware which is available on our forum. Now all the later versions of the, the firmware have more options in the customizing so it's worth making sure you grab the latest version uh, of the ECU firmware for your particular model to ensure that you get the best from all the features that are available. Now at the bottom here you can see the customizing um, custom purpose maps or configurable purpose maps and we've added more uh, up to 15 for a 2D and 15 for 3D with the latest version of firmware. Now you can set these up by going to the view customizing options area when you do that, you can come into the configuring maps, and just like I've explained in a video on um, custom maps before, configuring and how you set them up, and I'll set up a link to that uh, below here. This actually just goes into a bit more advanced of all the features you can do. So what I've actually done is an example here is uh, I've created a, a strategy for someone that needed a way to trigger an AccuSump setup. So an AccuSump is basically uh, an external cylinder that is filled with oil uh, which is pressurised and in the event of the oil pressure dropping mid-corner or in a race car etc, the, uh, the AccuSump basically will, the pressure that is on the equilibrium side of the, um, the valve will basically push pressure into the main gallery of the engine to ensure that the, uh, the oil pressure in the actual engine doesn't drop low. So basically, you, 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 that is triggered as standard on their system just by an on-off solenoid. Um, but it's obviously important to make sure you control that in a way that is useful. So what I've actually done is, if you look at the CM sections, when they just, just choose one that's not set for the minute, when you go on there and press enter, you can see that you've got the ability now to basically set configurable functions and all of the stuff that's listed here. So if you press enter, you've got like a fuel multiplier, you can do a multiplier or an adder on the basic PWM. You've got a torque MBT multiplier or an adder, launch RPM, final duty, a sensitive bank one trims of fueling, lambda tablet. There's so much you can do with the configurable purpose maps. So it's really useful to see this um, and make sure you have the latest firmware. Now, from an advanced point of view, let's say you want to make this custom strategy to uh, to control this AccuSum system that we're talking about here. So what I've done first is I've basically created something called a raw value compute only table. So you press enter, it's right at the bottom. And when you do that, basically it allows you to then set your axis. So for my target uh, minimum pressure that I want to allow for this strategy, which I'm gonna think the CM301 map will be, I've got in there RPM and oil temperature. And then what I'm then going to have is I'm going to have a, another raw compute table that is based on the actual oil pressure versus the values that have been created from this uh, CM301 uh, map. So what that basically means is this becomes your minimum allowed uh, pressure that you want to have in this table. And then in this table then it will be your comparison between the actual oil pressure and your minimum allowed pressure. So once you've set those items, you can just do that by going on here and then selecting the item that you want. You've pretty much got most of the items from the engine ECU in there, or you can obviously uh, pull in CM maps um, that you want to use it for as well. And once you've done that, you just go back to the normal area. So go view customizing again. And when you do that, you can then come back in here and set up your dimensions of the map, the breakpoints for the map, and then basically fill in the, the actual raw values that you want to use in here. Now, these tables don't have units, so I've actually just done this as a millibar. So basically you've got 1.3 bar here, which would be 1,300 millibar. And then, so what I've basically said is that as the oil uh, temperature increases, I basically drop the uh, pressure limit uh, down because the oil viscosity will drop and, uh, and hence uh, you saw your pressures. So your, your pressure trips, can obviously then adjust uh, in this table versus RPM. Then what we've got is the raw value compute only table CM303 which what you can see here is based on your oil pressure. So your oil pressure is on this axis 
and then the other axis is your minimum target allowed pressure. Okay, so this is pulling in from the CM um, 303 map. Okay, so what the, the what the, the beauty of this is is you can now set. So let's say we've got a, a minimum allowed oil pressure of say 4,000, so four bar, and let's say the oil pressure drops down to three bar. So what you can do is a percentage, as a percentage, I've just got this in raw units again, uh, of 0 to 100. So I basically think of this in my mind as a percentage. I can say, okay, well look, as a percentage it drops off the minimum target, I can then grab these raw uh, computed value items, uh, like numbers, and then feed that into the actual strategy which is going to be driving the solenoid. So for example, I'm using the FAN4 output, which I've renamed Accusome Output, and then what I've basically done in here is I've said, look, okay, the strategy will turn on when the oil pressure is above this amount, and then it will activate the solenoid when the raw uh, comp CM, uh, CM303 value is below 60, so that's 60%, and then turn off when it's above 80. So in the event of your table here dropping below the actual oil pressure, so you've set your pressure target in this map, and then if that pressure target falls below the oil pressure allowed, you can then basically lower your uh, raw computer's item as a percentage. And that then, then feeds in to the, the, the fan forward map and basically will then trigger the output if that is. And that's quite good because it allows you to have some uh, hysteresis between the two points so you don't just have it turn on and off a uh, given um, value. So hopefully this has been useful to show you just kind of how powerful and how you can create your own kind of calibrations and, and kind of strategies to do it. Um, we're going to look at getting it so you can rename these uh, in the future, so you can rename these to actually be something that makes sense to the, uh, yeah, anyone else that comes into the strategy. Or you can just go into Cal Comments and basically in there put some notes down about what the maps are so you know in the future. All the monitoring items can be monitored as, as usual by just logging them and stuff like that and hopefully this makes it useful to basically explain just how powerful the um, CM functions are actually at this uh, level of firmware.